Yo in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome floating car effect inside Filmora 13. So let's get started. Okay guys here's the clip I used to create this floating effect. So first we need to roto brush this car. So I duplicate this layer like this. Then hide the bottom layer. Select the top layer. Then go to the AI tools and select smart cutout. After that draw the selection around the car like this. Then track your selection. Okay then add the edge feather a little bit. Something like 2.5. So after completing the roto brush part, click the save button. Okay, then hide this layer and unhide the bottom layer. Then we need to remove this car and generate the background. For that I use this powerful AI tool called Runaway AI. So first create a free account and came back to the homepage. Then click this view all tool button. After that select this in painting tool right here. Okay, then upload your car clip to the Runaway AI. After uploading, drag and drop it to this preview area like this. Okay, then we can select the frame to draw the selection. Also, you can adjust this brush size right here. So then I draw the selection around the car like this. Then we don't need to do anything. It automatically starts to generate. Okay, here we have our results. So you can see it done pretty great work. Okay, after that click this done in painting button right here. Then click this export button. In here we can only export 720p resolution in the free plan. So if you want to export higher resolution, you need to upgrade this plan. But it's fine I export with this in 720p resolution. After that click this. And here you can see our video is start to export. So after exporting, Click the video, then you can see the preview here. After that click this download button to download it to your PC. Okay then add your exported video to the Filmora. So then I split my original clip right here, and drag it to the top layer. Then I unhide my roto brushed layer. After that add your AI generated video under the roto brushed layer like this. Okay then we need to create the floating effect. So I select here on the timeline. Then I create keyframes on position and rotation. After that go a few seconds forward. And I bring this car a little bit up. And also add the angle a little bit. Okay then go to the keyframe panel. Select these keyframes. And I add the ease out preset to this. Okay now our floating effect looks like this. Okay then let's add some drop shadow. So enable the drop shadow. And here I change the angle to 174. Color to black and blur to 68, then we need to animate the other two settings. So I go to the first keyframe, and create keyframes on distance and opacity, and I change the opacity to 0, then I select center, like here, and change the opacity to 25, then go to the last keyframe, and I change this to 30, and also a distance of 80. Okay guys now it looks like this. Then I like to add smoke effect. So go to the stickers, select smoke, then select this smoke effect, and add it to the timeline like this. Then I adjust the position. And also we need to track this effect. So I do it using the keyframes like this. Okay, now it's perfect. So let's adjust some settings. So first I bring down the opacity to something like 50. Then I add the drop shadow. And here I change the color to black, distance to 1, blur amount to 5, and opacity to 55. Okay guys now our floating effect is complete. So let's see how to add this light effect. So this effect I created using After Effects. But I will show you how to create the same effect using Filmora. So first take a duplicate of this roto brushed layer. Then hide all other layers under the duplicated layer. After that select this layer, and go to the mask, select the pen tool, and draw around the car like. After drawing the mask, create a keyframe on the path, and track you mask like this. After that add another duplicate roto brushed layer, 
and do the same thing for the second line. Okay, after completing the masking, we need to add our light effect. So first let's change these layers to compound clips. So press Alt plus G to create a compound clip. Then I name it Light 1 and hit OK. Then do the same thing for second layer. Okay, then we need to change this clip to a little bit darker. So first I bring these layers to the top layer. Then I add an adjustment layer to, to the timeline. Then go to the color and I bring down the exposure value to something like minus 20. Okay, then let's add our light effect. So go to the effect, select Boris FX, select plus light, then select BCC plus rays effect, and add it to our light layer. Okay, then go to the effect settings, select rays, then I increase the length to 100, and brightness to like 400. Also here you can change the light color you like. Then I change the threshold value to 0, then go to the light source, and change the brightness to 5, and size to 200. Then go to the opacity and bring down the source opacity to 50. Then go to the alpha and change rays from the alpha value you like. So I change it to 60. So then we need to add this effect to our second light. So simply right click on this layer, select effect, then select copy effect, then right click on this layer, select effect, then select paste effect. Okay, after that go to the effect settings and you can adjust the light position like this. Also, you can fine-tune this alpha value. Okay, then we need to animate this light effect. So you can do it by using this position setting like this. So you can add a few more keyframes to get a better look. Okay guys finally I like to add a shake effect. So go to the video effects. And you can see we have new effects in the latest update. So here I add this effect. Okay guys now our floating car effect is complete. Here's the result. Also you can see my light effect moving a little bit, but you can do it better. So guys that's how we can make the floating car effect inside of Filmora 13. So I hope this video helps you, and also if you like this kind of tutorial, please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.